Um, before they go to the road on Miami, they'll play Pittsburgh at home this weekend. So finally, Tar Heels, they'll be able to tailgate, get their first home game of the year. Woo! This is an exciting time. Hopefully, they'll bring a W, but Vegas doesn't like think, think so. UNC is three-point home underdogs to Pittsburgh this weekend. David, what is the one thing you're watching for this Saturday? What I am watching for is that UNC rush defense to prove to me that they are capable of performing. The ECU game, ECU ran for 220 yards on the ground in four scores. I mean, if if we're if right now our crutch is our defense, our offense is kind of a liability at this point in time until we get some form of quarterback play. If we're not getting any form of quarterback play, I want to know that my defense can play and shut the other team down while they're on the field. But when a team like ECU comes and drops 20 rushing yards, 220 rushing yards on me and four scores, that makes me very worried. And Pittsburgh has a pretty talented back who ran for 119 against Penn State, even though it was a blowout, but he ran for 91 yards versus Georgia Tech, who has, who has a decent defense and he ran for 90 97 91 yards and a score I and I I want to see that defense perform put the quarterback under pressure if I I want to see the pass rush actually make a difference in this game the the pass rush is so inconsistent seed versus Cal there were times our pass rush looked excellent and then ECU it was absolutely non-existent so what I'm looking for is a defense to step up and also for Nathan Elliott to just take care of the ball and for the run game to actually get established. Nathan Elliott, you may just have to be a check down Charlie for a couple of drives as long as we can just get some form of running game going. I think all Nathan Elliott has to do is just be a game manager and somehow get that ground game going, and that's what I'm looking for from both sides of the ball. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this question more from a fan perspective. And why you should stay positive, I think, about this UNC season. One, as, as for the players, you can see a lot of effort out there. It's your first home game. I think you're going to get that. You also get the week off for North Carolina, so they're going to be well-rested. That's actually a big advantage for North Carolina over Pitt. Is they got two weeks off. Pittsburgh played last week, so Pittsburgh's going to be a little bit more beat up than the Tar Heels. Hopefully, North Carolina can come out quick in the beginning and take advantage of that, and then hopefully maybe wear them down late with the run game because – their guys are going to be fresh. We said this, you know, they're going to be at home. They're going to have the crowd. Some guys will be re- returning from suspension. A lot of guys who haven't played that much. So it's going to be a fresh football team. But from a fan, don't give up yet on the season because North Carolina hasn't lost any ACC games yet, right? They lost their first two games to Cal and Eastern Carolina. And while it is very painful and hard to watch that, UNC isn't competing on a national stage. We're not competing for national championships. They're out-of-conference games. They might be nice and they're moral victories, but in the scheme of things, they don't matter. They don't matter at all. It's winning ACC football games. If North Carolina runs the table and goes undefeated in the ACC, then they'll play in the ACC championship game and have a chance at a great season. Not that I'm saying that's going to happen. I would be shocked if it ever did, but you still have hope, and they can start that and gain some confidence, gain some hope by beating a Pittsburgh team. It wouldn't be crazy to beat them. They're only three-point underdogs. Crazy stuff happens. That's not that much. That's one field goal. So they can make up three points somewhere. Maybe it's the home crowd. Maybe it's them being rested. Will be I the think three UNC points. has a good chance to actually have a decent ACC record this year. I mean, they don't even have Clemson, who's the big giant in the conference. They don't even have them on the schedule this year. They have Miami, but that Miami squad, we've seen some a, a little bit of inconsistency there. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to match that, but, I mean, there's still chances for us to make some form of impact in our ACC schedule. Yeah, and, and I think you have to get through this game with Nate Elliott, but you have a lot of positives going in. First home game, lots of rest, and then hopefully you'll get Chaz Surratt back hopefully in the next two Michael games. Hopefully you get Carter back soon, and, too. And those two guys are... are the two best players probably are the two most important players on UNC's offense. So I think our best offense players. Are yeah, Bradley so Williams. while we don't know exactly what Chaz Surratt's going to look like and how Michael Carter will come back off the injury, they'll probably look a lot better than whatever the UNC offense has been before. Can't so, be any so, worse. Yeah, so you know, I think it is an opportunity to stay positive, assuming or if UNC gets the win. If they lose again, I mean, you could be staring at 0-5 in the face very easily, and that is just ugly 
for North Carolina football. If they're 0-5, add that 12th game, I mean, who cares? 